Hey everybody, it's Dan. I am still out in the gazebo. It's still a cold March 6th, I think, when I'm shooting this, but you won't see it until a few days after that. The topic of this video is going to be about soothing. And I've gotten a lot of questions about soothing and what the heck does that mean? How do I self-soothe myself? Um, some people are questioning, well, does that mean putting ice on something that hurts? Is that soothing? Does it mean taking some ibuprofen or Advil or ty Tylenol or aspirin? Does it mean the medication that's been prescribed? Is that soothing? Um, does it mean deep breathing, meditation? Um, does it mean going for a walk? Does it mean going out in nature? Um, first of all, I think soothing means anything that will turn down your fear and your freak out about the pain or symptoms that you've got. Sometimes it's watching a funny show on, on TV or an engaging movie. Sometimes it's talking to a good friend or calling your, your parents or your kids and, and having a good conversation and getting out of your head for a little while. Sometimes it's taking a walk. Sometimes it's getting out in nature. Sometimes, you know, it's just doing some deep breathing or meditation. And I will be very candid. Uh, I struggled with the soothing aspect for a lot of years. Tried meditation, couldn't get it to work. And as a result, you see, I don't teach meditation. It's not one of the core principles that I think is critical. Is there a benefit? Absolutely, but I couldn't figure it out. I was always so judgmental that I'm doing this wrong. My mind is racing here and there, and the guided meditations just kind of seemed like, ah, this is a waste of time, and never got into it. And so some of you love them, and if that soothes you, by all means, do that. That's perfect. But if it doesn't, you know, forcing yourself to do something that doesn't resonate with you or doesn't feel good or stresses you out, because you're trying to meditate perfectly and now you're not doing that right because you're not relaxed and now you're just more self-judgmental about the fact that you don't even know how to meditate. That's not soothing. That actually adds stress. Same thing with breathing, right? Um, a friend of mine was telling me that, you know, there are, well, look, there's, there's dozens of ways of breathing. There's box breathing, there's inhale, and then the exhale is longer than the inhale. And there's in one nostril, out the other, and you name it. You go watch, uh, go to YouTube and search for breathing exercises or breathing TED Talk. I, I've seen recently in my research about 10 different TED Talks all about breathing and the benefits of it. I think that's really cool. And there are a lot of valid scientific studies of how that can dramatically impact our stress levels and turn down the fight or flight. It's all cool. Somebody brought up the uh, topic of Wim Hof, who's got a very specific breathing technique combined with cold therapy, cold showers, cold immersion. You know, I have not tested all of that stuff personally. But as far as soothing goes, my answer is not do it this way do it my way. My answer is soothing is anything that's going to cause your body to go ah, and relax and take the pressure out and turn down the stress levels and get you out of fight or flight into rest and digest, rest and recovery. We know when we're feeling relaxed. We know when we're feeling stressed. And so soothing to me means doing anything that brings you out of that stressed intense mode and into the rest and recover. Perhaps it's listening to some music. Perhaps it's playing music. Perhaps it's doing artwork or drawing or writing poetry. It doesn't matter what it is. When I say feel your emotions and then soothe yourself, what I mean is turn down the volume on your tension and stress and anxiety, right? As far as breathing goes, if the boxed breathing or the structured breathing doesn't work for you or feels uncomfortable or stresses you out because you're not sure if you're doing it right, now you're trying to think your way through breathing, which is something that's supposed to be very relaxing, find your own breath. And that's one of the things that was taught um, Tara Brockman, some meditative uh, teacher 
I got the name wrong, I'm sure, and I'm sure uh, my friend Susie will correct me on that. But find your own pace, find your own rhythm. And if you just sit and breathe, and maybe watch your thoughts without judgment, without criticism, without owning them, without believing that our thoughts are ourselves, I'm not my thoughts. They're just thoughts flittering by and there's, God knows, 60, 80,000 of them a day that we have. They don't define us. So maybe if you're struggling with a breathing or meditation process, you can do something that I've seen termed thought watching or taking a mental bath. And that's literally just sitting for five minutes, breathing at whatever your pace is, and watching your thoughts float by without judging them. So you can try that. I don't know if that's the best way. There's probably, like I said, dozens or hundreds of ways of doing this stuff. But as it relates to soothing, the overall concept is to bring down the volume on your nervous system. Not judging our thoughts, not criticizing it, not using, or not having meditation or this breathing process be just another thing that we have to do perfectly and just be okay with whatever your natural rhythm is if you find your breathing shallow perhaps some intentional <sighs> deeper breathing fill your diaphragm you know let your diaphragm pull the air into your lungs and just find whatever rhythm works for you and then watch some thoughts float by watch them drift by yep that, ooh, that was a bad one ooh, this was a good one and none of them matter. And so use this as a way to kind of learn and experiment with just finding your own rhythm, finding your own way of soothing. And again, some people say, yeah, the meditation doesn't work for me, I just go for a walk. Other people say, no, I need the meditation, but I need a guided person to do it. And then they spend hours a week looking for the perfect guided meditation. Um, Sometimes I think it's very useful to not have somebody else dictating what you do, but sometimes it's just getting comfortable with the silence, getting comfortable with the thoughts that are flittering by in our head, and getting comfortable with being you. Sometimes I think that may be more advantageous than letting somebody else guide you through a very structured breathing process or a very structured meditation. I'm not debating the value of those things, but I am suggesting that it's possible that finding your own soothing, your own practice, and being comfortable with yourself in your silence, and comfortable with your thoughts flittering by, the dark ones and the bright ones, may be very useful for just getting to like yourself a little bit better. And so let me know what you think. Do you have a soothing practice that works for you? Please comment below. I'd love to see this, these comments blow up with everybody's personal practice. What do you do to soothe? And if it works for you, share below and why you think it, it works for you so well. Because this is a perfect opportunity for this community to help each other and just share all sorts of ways of soothing that maybe somebody else hasn't thought of. And I know I haven't thought of everything either. So don't get so caught up on soothing the right way or soothing my way or using a specific guided meditation to soothe. Because my way is probably not your way. So find your own rhythm with your breathing. Find your own way of getting comfortable with who you are. I've been experimenting lately with sitting silently, even just for five minutes, and doing that once or twice a day, and getting comfortable just watching kind of how interesting some of these thoughts can be that drift through my head without attaching myself to them. They don't define me, they don't mean anything, and I just kind of watch them go by, and sometimes I chuckle at how silly they might be. Other times you go, whoo, that's a little odd, that's a little scary, but so what? It's not me, just let them go. So let me know what you think. Please comment below. If you have a soothing practice that really works for you, please share it so everybody else here can get the benefit by that. And with that, my hand's cold, it's freezing, it's wet. So I will talk to you guys and gals later. Love you and talk to you soon.